Well, this Black History Month, we've been sharing how Native Americans played a crucial role in the Underground Railroad in Wisconsin. Our Julia Fellow spoke to a historian about the courageous acts that helped one man and his children escape slavery and find freedom. The year was 1853, 12 years before the 13th Amendment abolished slavery and more than a century since the start of the Underground Railroad. One story in this vast network involves a man and his children who escaped slavery in St. Louis, Missouri by secretly traveling to Green Bay and making it to freedom in Canada. Canada was outright no slavery at all. Like nobody could come up there either and try to look for him. Potawatomi historian Michael Zimmerman Jr. says the Stockbridge Muncie tribal nation played a crucial role in their survival. They took in and hid this family, but new time was running out. There are people asking questions around the reservation that are not from there that are specifically looking for these individuals. Zimmerman says the Native Americans reached out to two white missionaries, Eliza and Jeremiah Porter. They were known from time to time. They were abolitionists themselves. And they were known from time to time to help out different escaped slaves that were coming from different areas. By sending a letter to them in Green Bay. And is there any way that you can provide them safe passage to Canada? At which point they responded that, yes, that's fine. And they actually held them in a belfry for about four days. The bell tower was attached to a church. Under the cover of night, they secured a steamboat on Lake Michigan that took them to Ontario, Canada. And probably did more than just that one instance of assisting people getting into Canada. Countless stories like these can be told by tribal nations across the country. As a human, can I think of this is a human situation and is it good to hear that one, one group of humans helped another group of humans? And show how the smallest acts of kindness still resonate with us, even 168 years later. Julia Fellow, TMJ4 News.